Hi. Wait. How come they're allowed to drink without hats on? Such double standards. These guys are having a spirited discussion about guns and which of theirs is nicer. They're engaged in conversation. Hi. Hello, Hoyd. Need help with anything? Well, if you hand it with mechan- Hang on. Well, if you hand it with mechanical type stuff, there's something gone wrong with our pi player piano player. I thought the music sounded a little off. Yes, it's not supposed to sound like that. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I've poked around in him myself, but I've lost the key. This has suddenly taken a strange turn. I shall try to fix him. I lift up the piano player's coat to reveal the hat in his back that leads to his innards. It's locked, but it's not a very good lock. Let's pick the lock. I open the hatch and check out the machinery inside. There's obviously something wrong, given all the plinking and sprunking and clicking noises come out the gears and stuff. It looks pretty complicated. Ah, but I see what's wrong. I recalibrate some of the springs and rearrange some of the gears, and the machinery inside starts operating smoothly. The music improves immediately. In a very noticeable way. Maybe. It sounds much better now, but then again the music wasn't that better to begin with. Hmm, I'll talk to you later. Hello. I fixed your machine. I thought so. He sounds much better. Thanks a heap, Dan. I'd offer you a free room in exchange, but you already got one. Heh, <laughs> no worries, Lloyd. I mean, Cloyd. See you later, Cloyd. Very well, onwards again. Bish, giddy up. Wait, hang on, let's comb your mane, make you look good. Oh, you were shyly. In that case, saddle up. Hmm. Onwards to the desert house. Ooh, a silversmith's house. Let's go there now. Wow, that's way further away. What's this? Sign says, silver bird making apparatus. Help yourself. I shall help yourself. The workbench is a little burner and a crucible for melting silver things. And some bullet molds. It seems pretty straightforward. There's also a vice, so you could smash silver bullets into needles if you wanted to. Ah, Dang rabbit! I forgot. I lost all my silver when I sold it. Crushes and crashes. Yeah, well. What's in here? Hmm, this door's locked. I got it. Hmm, it's empty. There's a note on the save reading. I forgot the darned combination of this confounder thing. If you can open it, you're welcome to what's inside it. This looks like a tricky one. Hmm, let's see if I can gain anything. I have no way of gaining new things just yet. Blood beans. Oh, I see. It's a passive skill. Interesting. I can't remember what these skills do. Ah, I see. Spell damage. Smart on the box of rocks. Okay. Dicker in. Hmm. 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 Gumption sounds good. Right. Let's take this other notch as well. Base damage is even higher. But next level, it'll be even, even higher. So what else we can find? Nothing here. This shelf looks pretty picked over. Well, I'd better search it anyway. Ah, yeah, I found a couple of things to look edible. Brilliant. I mean, excellent. This bookshelf contains, like, 90 copies of Johnny Tremaine. There's something weird about him, though. It's too neatly organizing. Like, maybe the guy was hiding something. Unfortunately, I haven't got enough moxie to search it, so I'll leave it alone. Hmm, 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 hmm. Alright, let's go. That desert house again. Glints of light in the distance. I realize it's the sun reflection of the lens of a discarded pair of binoculars on the ground. Hey, let's grab them. They'll come in handy. Yeah. Sneak in a sneak. Wait, let's go talk to you. Maybe you have some advice on how we sneak past this. Hmm. So. Hmm. 
What do you think we should do next? Hmm, well if we were looking to get a move on next to it, I reckon the train's the way to go. Didn't the map that Hostler gave you have a marker for the railroad camp or whatever? Might be worth checking out. Good idea. Maybe they'll have some oil we can get past that rusty gate. Let's go. Whee! I encounter an overturned wagon surrounded by ruined books and broken pairs of spectacles. Looks like a family of especially literate homesteaders met the untimely end here. Tragic. Ah well, loot for me. I pour over the detritus and manage to find exactly one book that's both undestroyed and remotely interesting to me. Advanced Beancraft, Volume 1101 or 111, I think. Or 91. Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. Oh, please set up, dear. I'm not sure what's happening there. Oh, hello. This guy should never be in charge of a switch. He's too busy playing with his watch to get any work done. She's not getting much track laid, but she's an expert whistler. I'm approaching the beleaguered looking man with the tiny glasses. Howdy there! Who's in charge of this outfit? If I'm being charitable, I'd say that fellow over there in the white hat is the foreman. He, pours at, he points at the man next to the huge lump of rocks. And if you're not, he smiles. Then I'd say it's the paper black idiot over there in the absurd white hat is the fellow you're looking for. Alright, thanks. Hey. You look like you're the person who's not that kind. You're in charge? There's one of the only things I can do to help. Do you want to know something? I love trains. Oh. Ever since I was a little boy. Huge, magnificent, roaring iron beasts. They were magical to me, like dragons. When the opportunity arose to take on management of this rail line, I jumped in it like a shot. And you know what I learned? What's that? Organization and building and running the one of these operations is the most amazing pain in your ass that you will ever imagine. Want to help? Congratulations, you're the new foreman. I'm going to pl home to play at my models. Swell! <laughs> Well, hi. Guess I'm the boss now. He's looking me up and down. Well, I suppose you can't be any worse than that last clown. He extends his hand. Name's Smee. Oh my gosh, I got this voice dead on. Name's Smee. I'm your assistant. What's the situation? Well, I'm sure you didn't miss seeing this giant pile of rocks blocking our path. Surveyors say there isn't any other Suku Mountain Pass, so we can't even reroute around it, even if we had the months it'd take. Any ideas? Well, by my calculations, we could dynamite it clear without too much trouble. Problem is, it'd take a lot of dynamite. A whole year's worth, I figure. We used to keep that much in hand for emergencies, just such as this one, but a pack of goblins stole it all. Sneaky little varmints. Well, alright, I'll get it back for you. Glad to hear it. The goblins are holed up in Gustavon Gulch. It's a real rough place. You might even want to spend some time getting the lay of the land and holding your fighting skills for heading that way. Especially if you plan to go in guns blazing. We won't need that specific dynamite though. Any of it you can lay your hands on will be fine, as long as there's enough of it. I guess I'll look into that. Whistling. Oi. Hey. Talk. He's way too busy playing this watch to get any work done. I better ask him where he got it. Hey, that's a nice watch. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this gal who runs a store down south of here, named a Butter Willow. Butter Willow Mook. Look something. Where is this store exactly? Oh, you can't miss it. It's right between a cactus and a different cactus. He points at the spot on my map. I've discovered the Butterwheel and McCutrick store. Thanks. Don't don't mention it. I'll mention it. No, really, thanks a lot. He's following his brow. Sure, sure, don't mention it. I mean it. I really appreciate you telling me where that store is. His eyes are narrowing. Really? It's no trouble at all. Don't mention it. I mean it. <sighs> I run away, so thank you, but I really do want you to know that I'm very grateful for your help. His face has started to turn red. Do not mention it! He looks about ready to punch my blocks off if I don't knock it off. Alright, alright, I won't mention it. Hmm, can I get in here? Nope. 
How about here? Nope. And here? No. Okay. Let's go. 